Item number SCP-3250 Index Unconsecrated Waters Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures An area 30 meters inland from SCP-3250 is to be cordoned off from public access. Surveillance cameras and electric fences have been set up alongside this perimeter. At sea, Foundation boats are to regularly patrol the area and prevent any unauthorized vessels from entering SCP-3250. Multiple Foundation researchers are to be on site at all times, in case of an SCP-3250-1 event. Any SCP-3250-2 instances found are to be retrieved immediately and taken to the nearby site. An emergency medical team is also to be on site at all times, in case any live SCP-3250-1 instances are found. Description SCP-3250 refers to the estuary of the river located in County Ireland. SCP-3250's anomalous properties activate whenever heavy mist, fog, or another form of suspension causing low visibility covers SCP-3250. This is known as an SCP-3250-1 event. For the duration of this event, several cadavers of newborn humans in differing states of decomposition will appear approximately 10 meters below the surface of SCP-3250 before floating to the surface. The distant sound of a church bell can sometimes be heard during SCP-3250-1 events. SCP-3250-2 instances are ordinarily dressed in clothes traditionally given to newborn infants. These have been dated to a wide variety of time periods, beginning in the early Middle Ages and ending in the late 20th century. The level of decay of these items of clothing is consistent with the rate of decomposition of the cadavers in question. Although many of the causes of death have been found to be due to drowning, most apparently expired due to exposure or starvation. On occasions, a living SCP-3250-2 instance has manifested instead. On all but occasions, these instances have expired shortly after recovery. Those instances which have survived beyond this have not demonstrated any anomalous behavior. Ordinarily, they are fully integrated in society. SCP-3250's anomalous activities were first recorded in the mid-19th century, when local fishermen accidentally caught a large number of SCP-3250-2 instances in their nets, provoking a strong reaction from the British authorities against the local populace. The Foundation swiftly stepped in and secured the area. No anomalous behavior had been recorded in the area before that point. Addendum 3250-1 On 2309-19, a female SCP-3250-2 instance was found with a document sewn into the lining of its clothes. This saved the document from extensive water damage and was thus still legible. The instance had expired from respiratory failure and was in an early stage of decomposition. The document was written in a dialect of English by someone with a lack of experience with writing. Consequently, the text as presented here has undergone some minor alterations for legibility. May the Virgin have mercy on me and intercede for me. I am a poor sinner and I sin again today. I cannot keep this child because we do not have the food. There is a famine, and I do not know what to do. I commend this soul into the arms of Jesus and the Virgin. I know it will go to limbo, but I ask for your help anyway. Send her to heaven, please, please, I beg you, God. Addendum 3250-2 On 1801-20 An adult male human cadaver appeared as an SCP-3250-2 instance. The cadaver was newly deceased and dressed in a uniform 
appropriate for a 19th century Irish Catholic priest. A small scrap of paper, written in English, was found in the cadaver's hand. It was still legible. I have tried to save them, the unbaptized souls. I tried to let them flow down the river and out into new life. But only God can change the place of condemnation, even the mildest condemnation. They just keep rising and rising and rising, and I keep watching. May God have mercy for lost mothers 